to test my three fridge freezers, I've come to a working farm complete with pigs, cows, and even its own ice creamery. But that's not all that Churchfield's farm does. We have got the cafe, the restaurant, the visitor attraction, so we've got quite a lot going on here. A fantastic location then to test fridges and fridge freezers, because I'm sure you have freezers and fridges all over. We do, we have a lot of fridges okay. and freezers. Brilliant. My first fridge freezer is the Beko. It's the cheapest on test today and has a fast freeze setting. Next up is the mid-priced Samsung, which has the technology to keep all areas of the fridge at a constant temperature. And finally, the LG, which is the most expensive of the three, but its compressor has a 10-year warranty. Time to get testing. And first up, we're looking at features and looks, because, let's face it, these enormous slabs of tech are pretty dominant in your living space, so it'll help if you like its appearance. The Beko is the only one of the three that comes with a water dispenser. Yes. But it's not plumbed in. No, it's one you have to fill yourself. Yeah. I am not a lover of really cold water. I'm quite happy with just tap water. That's so. quite valuable real estate, isn't it, really? Well, There's so if, much yeah, thing, for so bottles many things. and yeah. jams. When it comes to perishable items, the Beko has a neat trick to keep that food in tip-top condition. There is a three-colour light in here, which is there to mimic the sun's 24-hour cycle, and that should actually keep your fruit and veg fresher for longer. The touch-sensitive controls allow for easy operation, including a handy Neo-Frost mode, and that makes the top drawer in the freezer compartment 10% okay. colder. colder. Which I can see could be quite, quite useful. On to the next fridge, the Samsung. Something smart that Samsung do is, uh, they call it Space Max. They have thinner walls, so the capacity is actually the greatest of all of them. Yeah, it, it looks like it would do the job. I mean, there's quite a lot of space in there, isn't yes. there, to be fair. The innovation doesn't stop there. The fridge also circulates air, meaning more efficient cooling and fresher food. A bit small there. It's got, it has got quite deep drawers, though. And actually, even the top one isn't too narrow, either. This fridge freezer's controls are a musical affair that you access from inside. Do you like the noise? You like the music? <laughs> the kids would love that. It's especially toddlers, as soon as they know they can reach that, your food's in trouble. On to our final unit, the LG, which also circulates air. But unlike the Samsung, it does this over the door section, too. So it will keep everything in your shelves here as cool as those things in the main body of the fridge. The LG also has a handy two-step retractable shelf for bulky items and an extra compartment for perishables with individual temperature control. Down below, though, the freezer is let down by a rather small drawer. Possibly not great for boxes. OK. Not so many pizzas, maybe. Everything is controlled using this panel here. Also, you can operate everything using an app. Yeah. OK, so everything that can be done here can also be done remotely using the app here. So, which of my fridge freezers has managed to combine style and practicality the best? Well, I have to say, I think I actually prefer the LG one the best. OK, I think... Yes. Very attractive. I think so. It is nice. When it comes to features and looks, the LG's app connectivity, sleek design and considered layout, not to mention controls well away from prying toddlers, means it takes an early lead. Time for test two, and arguably the most important consideration when buying a fridge freezer, capacity. I've ordered three identical shops of both fresh and frozen food, and we're going to see how each of our fridge freezers hold up. OK, let's go. The Beko's fridge can hold 215 litres. I'm going to put fruit and veg there. It has adjustable glass shelves and a reversible door for left or right hand opening. Have you got a chicken? Because I have two chickens. Oh, that might be mine. <laughs> the 143-litre freezer is the biggest one on test today. So let's start with the bottom. I'm going to get my wine in. Ah. <laughs> now, Gillian's busy loading the Samsung, which has an oversized wine compartment. Basically in there. And a fridge capacity of 276 litres. Not masses of space. It also has large compartments in the door, which is handy for milk and eggs. Right, Beko, done. Next, time for me to load the 114-litre Samsung freezer. Coming from the Beko, I can definitely appreciate how much deeper these ones are. 
And while I do that, Gillian's onto the most expensive model, the LG, which has a door basket for large bottles. Fits the milk in well, that's always good. It also has the biggest fridge capacity on test. Right. At 277 litres. Let's put some bits in the freezer. But the smallest freezer, holding just 107 litres. Although thanks to its deep drawers, Gillian found it easy to pack. Like, there's loads of space for the pizzas, actually. And you finish it off with a bag of ice, which could go in the top there. Done. So, obviously, no one puts bananas in the fridge freezer. No. <laughs> with everything packed away, what's the verdict? I think I would still yeah. go with the LG. Okay. I do like the drawers, actually, in the bottom. They just seem very deep, the shelves as well, so <laughs> you can get lots of stuff in there. So, Samson and Becco are still frozen out of the points, making it 2-0 to the LG. On to test three, freezer performance. Yes, 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 I'm here with Jess. Don't stress, we're going to put some ice cream make into the test. <laughs> Jess is in charge of making the farm's award-winning ice cream, and today she's agreed to let me make a batch. Oh, look at that. Come on, out you come. That's it. Don't be shy. We'll load the same amount of ice cream into each of the freezers and monitor how much energy they use over a four-hour period, the time it should take to freeze my delicious creations. Then we'll judge which freezer is best at achieving the perfect consistency. So we've got some strawberries in here. Yeah. So we just scoop it out and pop it into here and we weigh out two kilos. <laughs> Next, the all-important contribution from Daisy, which is mixed with some other key ingredients, added to the giant ice cream machine. Oh, that looks satisfying. Alongside the strawberries, plus a bit of pink food coloring to make it all pretty. There we go. And then that'll just do its thing and it'll mix. And chill. And chill. Ten minutes later, hey presto! And open. Summer strawberry ice cream ready for popping into pots. And then into my freezers. Just pop those in. Lovely. Four hours later and my ice cream is ready to taste. <laughs> and find out which tub has the best consistency. But I'm going to mix things up a bit so Gillian and Jess don't know which tub is from which freezer. <laughs> That's impressive. It's Mystery Pot 1 from the Samsung up first. You dip in? I'm going. <laughs> so it's not as hard as what we would normally get it out of the right. freezer. The Samsung used the lowest amount of energy with 0.13 kilowatt hours. That's quite nice. The Beko had ice cream number two. Number two is definitely harder. Yeah. So much harder, isn't it? Mm. Yeah and used the highest amount of energy, 0.27 kilowatt hours, more than double that of the Samsung. So would we rank this one higher than the first? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think so. OK. Finally, pot number three. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's firm. Which was frozen by the LG. Hmm. We see that is a good texture. It's not too soft, mm -hmm. but it's not too hard. OK. Mm. Some rather positive noises being made there for the LG ice cream, which used 0.2 kilowatt hours of energy. So, of the three, which ones would you be happy to have leave the shop? That this one. This one. Yeah. The LG is their favourite ice cream then. Time to reveal the result to our experts. So our winner is the LG. Yeah, you see. So, even though the LG's energy use was middle of the road, it's won the all-important taste test, meaning a 3-0 win overall. Wow. Have you noticed they used to be called white goods and now they never are? Yeah. <laughs> but a complete, a clean sweep for the LG. Yeah, the LG really froze out the competition in that one. And it's worth noting that even though it was the most expensive, when you buy a fridge freezer, you do want it to last, don't you? So that cost is sort of spread out over the term of its use. OK, thank you for that, Otis.